Here we go. Let's get started. What's up, guys? It's Ben Chez here. And we're finally back with a new game. Sort of. Kind of. It's... Well, it, it released today, more or less. And it is the remake of the original Resident Evil that originally came out on the GameCube back in, like, I think 2001 or 2002. It's been a, it's, it's been a while since this came out. But it's finally out. And we're going to play it today. Super excited to play it. Now, what most people do not know is that I have never, zero times, I have never played the original Resident Evil before. Which may be surprising to a lot of people, seeing as I've played every other Resident Evil game except this one. And a lot of people want to know why. Why exactly uh, did I have I not played this? And really, like the answer to that is because the original was on the PlayStation, and I didn't have a PlayStation as a little as a kid. I, I had a Nintendo 64. Um, so I kind of I kind of missed out on it. And then again, when the when the remake was released. I didn't get a chance to play that either because I had Resident Evil 4 and I actually had no idea about the remake whatsoever. So, okay. I had to make sure that the uh the um the subtitles were on before we got started. All right. So, this is technically going to be a completely blind playthrough. I hope you guys are ready for this. Because I'm ready for people to judge me, being like, "There, you should have gone this way, or you should have gone that way. I am kind of nervous about playing this, because I've never played it before. But we're going to do our best, and let's get started. Here we go. Resident Evil. Resident Evil. I'm excited. Here we go. Let's see. Uh, game setup. Display wide controls alternate da, da, da. okay da, da, da. question how do you like your game I like my game I like climbing a mountain lifting let's see like going on hikes good exercise but not too serious like taking walks you can just relax and enjoy yourself. Um, I hear mountain climber is the harder difficulty, and since I haven't really played this, we're going to go on number two. We're going to do number two. Okay. All right, you have your choices of Chris Redfield or Jill Valentine. Seeing as Chris I've played before and Jill I've played before, uh... I think we're gonna go with Jill because I like I like girl butt, and I hear her butt is fabulous in this game. And let's be honest, I'd prefer staring at that over Chris's butt through this entire game, but that's just me. No discrimination. No nothing against nothing against Chris's butt, but I hear Jill Jill's is a little bit more pleasant to look at. So July 1998. Flying around the forest zone, situated in northwest Raccoon City where we are searching for the helicopter of our compatriots, Bravo Team, who disappeared during the middle of their mission. 1998. That's a long time ago. Murder cases have recently occurred in Raccoon City. There are outlandish reports of families being attacked by a group of about 10 people. Victims were apparently eaten. Eaten, you say? The Bravo Team was sent in to investigate. But we lost contact. Look, Chris. Bravo Team's helicopter was a derelict. First person. What is this? Outlast? <laughs> no, it's not Outlast. Safer than the remaining body of Kevin. Yikes. We continued our search for the other members. And it turned into a nightmare.
Walking through the forest in the fog at night. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that nothing bad could happen here. And there's our heroine, Miss Jill Valentine. Isn't she pretty? Hmm. The No Named. Oh, his name is Joseph. That's what it said on his little uh, video icon. Never lower your gun, Joseph. Whoa! Joseph F. Just got mauled by dogs. I'm assuming the F in his name stands for... Fo well, I'm not gonna say that word. But you know what I mean. I like how Jill's just looking. Like, maybe I should shoot. No, I'm just, I'm just gonna look at him. Oh no, this, this is bad. I'm gonna assume this is her first day on the force, because that was some pretty tactical thinking right there, falling down. Now we got mutated dogs chasing us. What the heck? Oh, you douche, Brad. You're leaving us behind. Oh. This way. Is that who I think it is? Damn it. Make for that mansion. I like how it's a mansion and not just some raggedy old shack. So I was like, we're going to be like here. Enter the survival horror. Ooh. Now that's a genre not many people do anymore. Right? I there think so. There are only three STARS members left now. Captain Wesker, Barry, and myself. We don't know where Chris is. What Wesker. Is this place? Not quite your ordinary house, that's for sure. Hey, Wesker, where's Chris? Jill, no. You don't want to go back out there. But we've got to find... What was that? Chris? No. Jill, go and investigate. But I'm going with her. Chris and I go back a long way. All right. You two go. I'll secure this area. Stay sharp. So that's Albert Wesker. He looks a lot different without all of his, like, I'm, I watched The Matrix, so now that's just what I'm all about. So, interesting. A dining room. Hmm. Oh, we can move now. Alright. Now, if there's one thing I do know from most Resident Evils, and it's this right here. The Ink Ribbon. Will you take the Ink Ribbon? Yes. The Ink Ribbon is basically used for you to save your game, and they're in limited supply. So, if you're gonna go save your game, you have to be pretty choice and select exactly where I you're gonna you do it. Take a look at this. Oh, what what's this? Ugh, there's junk on the floor. Blood. Jill, see if you can find any other clues. I'll be examining this. Let's just hope it's not Chris's. Hmm. Okay. Uh. Let's go through here. So apparently, there's blood on the floor. Chris is missing, and I'm not exactly the most, you know, let's see, let's go this way. Now, if there's one thing I do know about these old Resident Evil games, it has fixed camera angles, so you're not stuck in one particular angle. So, this can go any matter of ways. And I have no idea how to play. All I know how to do is move at the moment. And that's about it. Let's see. 
What do we have over here? Hmm. Go down the staircase? No, no, I don't think I'm ready for that. No. Because usually your creepy mansion and staircase usually means there's a bad thing coming. And I'd like to keep it keep it simple right now. Let's go over here. What the Hey buddy. You might what you chomping on over there? I think it'd be best if you left. Oh, oh. I don't I don't care what you're jumping on. Is he still following me? Oh yeah, he's still following me. Oh god. Uh, uh Which door did I come through? It's locked from out the other side. Oh great. Hey. Oh! I don't want to use any book. It's locked. An emblem on the of armor is carved into the lock. How does that help me? Uh. Okay. Uh. Uh. Oh God! <laughs> no. Um. Uh. Uh. How do I shoot? How do I shoot? Where did I come through? Is it is this one? Okay, that's that one. Whoo! I have to conserve my ammunition, man. I can't just go off shooting everything Harry. I see. What is it? Look out! It's a monster! Let me take care of it! Oh man. What the hell is this thing? I found Kenneth. Killed by this thing. Let's report this to Wesker. He was just chomping on something. And it looks like he had too much Chipotle. That would explain the smell. Alright. Let's go find Wesker. Okay. Clearly, clearly things are going pretty well here. Nothing too scary. Wesker! Where are you, Wesker? Jill, help me look for him. But let's not leave this hall. Good idea. Okay. I gotta admit, like, even though these are rendered textures in the background, the game still looks really good. I mean, pers I think I want to actually go back and play the actual uh, GameCube remake just to see, like, the differences. Let's see. Checking here. Anything? Nothing so far. Barry. Any luck, Jill? Mm. No, nothing. Jill's got What's quite a butt. Around here? I can't figure it out. Same here. Chris, and now Wesker. There's not much we can do. We can search for him separately. I'll investigate the dining room again. Okay, then. I'll try the door on the other side. <sighs> this mansion is gigantic. We could easily get lost. Let's start from the first floor. Okay. Oh! I almost forgot. It's a lockpick. You'd make better use of it. Hey, wait a minute. I do, like, I never played the original Resident Evil, but I do know... Thanks. I may need it. Listen. If something happens, let's meet up in this hall. Got it? Okay. Thanks, Barry. He's such a good guy. I like Barry. But, well, I, like I was saying, I remember in the original Resident Evil, because this is like a meme or something, like, he actually hands her the lockpick in the, I think it's the original PlayStation when he's like, Here, the master of unlocking. You might be able to use this. For some reason, he doesn't say that in the remake. I wonder why. Okay. It's locked. An emblem of a helmet is carved into the lock. Alright. I guess we can go into this big old door. 
open up. Whoa. This room is like pretty. Whoa. Like, let's go back. Look at the rump on that statue. This game is all about butt. I love it. You got quite a fanny on you. But, oh. What's. Can I move this? Oh, I can't. Oh, I can climb on top of it. Oh, okay. Oh, I can move it. Alright. Since I can climb on top of it, I can get whatever's, like, flashy on top of this. Can I? I think so. Gimme, gimme, gimme! Alright. I, I think I gotta push it more. These camera angles, man. <laughs> Still trying to get a fix for them. Okay. And push. And we climb. Climb on it, Jill. There you go. Okay. Can I grab this now? There's a map of the mansion. And Take it. Yes, I will. Oh, sweet. Now we got a map. 100% items in progress. Okay. You got the map of the mansion. Okay. I guess I can leave that there, seeing as I won't really need it. Huh, this isn't creepy. This isn't creepy at all. Alright. Hello? Mario? Mario? Isn't it? This ain't Luigi's Mansion. What are we doing? Huh. Oh, what's this? Will you take the dagger? Yes, I will. Emergency invade. Using defense items such as daggers will allow you to escape momentarily when grabbed by an enemy. However, you will not be able to escape the enemy when he grabs you from behind. Oh boy. To equip the defense item to go on status screen and select the item from the defensive items menu. Then select equip command. If your defense item mode is set to your manual in the control settings, you must press the left bumper to use the defense item. Okay. So, which button do I push? There we go. Uh, survival. No, where's my uh, defense items? Okay. Oh, I already have it equipped. So, we're good. Alright, let's go. Let's go. Get on it. Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, no. Jill, it's not hard. Walk on your feet. Oh, boy. This guy looks hungry. Uh, oh, no, 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 no. Uh, uh, get off me. 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 Uh, that'll learn you, punk. Ah! Oh, still alive! Oh, uh. Uh, oh, oh. I right, push this thingy. You ain't getting me. There. There. What's the purpose of the dagger if it doesn't do anything? Ha ha ha. I'm too smart for you. You can't get through. He still got the dagger in his head. Oh, God. Oh boy. Alright. Um. Can I go through here? It's locked. An emblem of a sword is carved into the lock. Hmm. Let's go meet up with Barry really quick before we do anything else. Oh god. I have not fired a shot yet, and I've already had two zombies try and kill me. This is not going well. Barry, I need your help. Help me, Barry. Open up! Are you in here, Barry? That's a typewriter. S 
I don't like how ambient the sounds are here. It's creeping me out, man. Where are you, Barry? I thought you were going to be in here. Hmm. Anything? That's what the clock is. Oh, what? A picture of two knights striking each other. The short sword has been thrust into the breast on the one knight, while the long sword has pierced through the head of the other. That's very, very intricate art, I must say. Okay, um... I guess we can go... Since Barry killed that one zombie, he's not going to be in this room anymore, so we can go in here. In we go. Hello? I don't know why I have Luigi's Mansion in my brain right now. Oh well. Okay. Okay. Uh... How do I shoot? How do I shoot? Okay. Uh, go away! Ah! No! Okay, I'm done. I'm, uh, nope. Get me out of here. Since there are no... There are no zombies in here, I think we're gonna call it right here. Uh. So, we're going to go a little bit further into this mansion and find out what the heck is going on here in the next one. So, I hope you guys are ready for some craziness that's going to happen in this game. I'm completely lost and have no idea what to do. So, if you want to laugh at my pain, feel free to do so because it's going to happen a lot. Because I really have no clue what's going to go on here. Wait a minute. Never mind. Never mind. I th <laughs> thought I saw something, but it's it's okay. Never mind. But anyways, we're going to go ahead and call it here. Wait. Now, this is going to sound extremely perverted, but I have to ask. Do her boobs jiggle when I move? They do. This game just keeps on giving. I got butt, and I got boob jiggle. Thank you, Resident Evil. Now I know why I should have played you when I was younger. Anyways, <laughs> enough being stupid. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you, if you like what you see, give the video a like. And if you want to see more of this Let's Play, hey, you could always hit that subscribe button. It's right there. Don't be afraid to hit it. But anyways, like, favorite, share the video with your friends if you enjoyed it because I loved making it. There are socials right there on the bottom if you want to do those as well. Feel free. I would appreciate it. It means a lot to me. It lets me know that, hey, I don't completely suck at this and you want to see more of my work. But that's going to do it for right now, guys. And I will see you guys in the next episode. So as always, this... What's Resident Evil? I have been Benches. I love all your faces, everybody. Keep on gaming. I'll see you next time. See you later.